Hello everybody, welcome back to my channel. So today is episode six of my Sims series, series one still, where our character is called Rachel. And in the last episode, she officially got a boyfriend. Cannot remember his name. Um, yes, Efrain, that's his name. And he works at a bar, blah, blah, blah. And also we finished off renovating the house. In this episode, I'm gonna give you a house tour. So we're gonna do a full like house tour and just see what we've done like over the past five episodes all in one section of the video. And then we're gonna, uh, mainly in this episode, be doing some gameplay where she is gonna try and ask a friend to move in with her. So that's gonna hopefully be the target of this episode. And we might go visit a few friends' houses, that kind of thing. So yeah, if you haven't already watched any of the previous episodes, go and watch them. I am mainly just filming these for fun because I know that not like tons of people will watch um, these Sims videos because not that many people really play Sims. Like there is obviously loads of people that play Sims but not um, that many that maybe watches my videos but I still really love filming these videos. Like I don't know why, like, the, I just, these are just my favourite to film. But anyway, I'm going to shut up now. So we are now starting. Remember that Rachel lives in Willow Creek. And this is what a house looks like. I think that house looks quite nice, actually. Um, it, I think it looks better than the others. Like the what the house out of all of these that I find the most interesting to look at is this, um, like the goth house. Um, but yeah, I think that looks nice. The house that we created. So, oh, Rachel's got work. Um, maybe we'll let her go to work, and then we'll do the house tour while she's away. Um. Or we can just do the house tour while she's awake. Anyway. Right, so Rachel's got work soon, but we're going to do a house tour now. So let's do a little house tour to start off this episode. So this is what the house looks like. It's got these nice pink trees on the side. And yeah, I think it's decorated quite nicely. And in the back garden, it's got a nice pool. I think the only thing like in a future episode that we might do is put like a fencing or um, maybe hedges around the edge or something. Um, but yeah, it's also got a back garden area here. Um, oh, someone's ringing us. Um, hey Rachel, I think I have a crush on Katrina. Do you think it's worth a try? yeah go for it this is the guy that she was previously interested in in a previous episode and he ran off like on the date like he literally just ran off he didn't even they didn't even start the date um so yeah but she's also growing some plants as well here um i'm not sure what they are yet collect microscope sample interesting we might have to do that when she gets back um but yeah oh, i've just realized what an absolute idiot no, I am an idiot, a full-on idiot as well. There's no back door. <laughs> so that is something that we need to do. I also now need to move this window as well. Oh, but now there's a picture frame over the damn window. Oh, obviously I can't have a back door. One absolute idiot. The kitchen's there. Oh, have I messed up? Why did I not think that through? It's a good job we did this tour. I could put a door here. Right, this is an issue we're gonna solve in a future episode. Um, yeah, why is she calling me? Don Lothario and I just had a blast together, thanks for your advice. Oh, hang on, I, for a second I thought that she meant like she was interested in this guy in a relationship wise, but she's already in a relationship and is trying for a baby and has a baby, um, but I think it's a friendship way. Um, yeah, so in a future episode, we're gonna fix that door issue. Um, yeah, that's quite annoying actually. But yeah, let's look at the downstairs. So here is the front door. As we go through the door, we come into the kitchen area, which is here. Um, if you've not been following so far, obviously the kitchen and the wallpaper in this house the wallpaper in this house is very out there. Um, so yeah, oh look, someone's jogging past. Oh, that's cute. Um, I've just realized I will need to move that window back. 
Then if we turn around in the kitchen to look the other side, there's a nice little table area and also a cosy fireplace. I just love the fireplaces um, in Sims. I would put one in every room if I could. Then when we go to the left, there is the staircase, a bathroom, and here we come through to the living room. So let's just look in the bathroom very, very quickly. So this is what the bathroom area looks like. I just quickly went into build mode so I could show you it like this. But yeah, there's um, like a toilet, a sink and the shower around here. Then if we go through the archway into the living room, we have like a desk. We have a desk office space here um, which looks really nice and then the tv area this is the first room that we renovated in episode one and i was super happy with how it looked and it actually inspired me to get the maximalist pack um or kit um because i liked the wallpaper in here and i wanted to kind of continue with that theme throughout and um, this wallpaper isn't from the maximalist kit but um it kind of reminded me of that kit um so yeah this is the living room which i quite like and now let's head upstairs. So we're now upstairs and as you can see, the wallpaper is very, very, very in your face. Very. Um, I think in a future episode, I might, um, like when we make some adjustments and things to the house, which I am planning on doing, I might get rid of the chess table and maybe put a piano there or something. Cause I just think chess, like really. Um, but yeah, then, I thought there wasn't a door to the art room then. Um, then in the art room, she has already done some paintings. I did a couple of paintings um, since the last episode as well. Um, she did this one, which is weird. And also this one, which again um, is, what is that? I don't know. Um, but yeah, we're gonna try and fill this entire room with loads of paintings. Um, so this is the art room and also sculpture room sewed and she made a sculpture of an elephant which is cool um so yeah then we have the bathroom here which i am going to show you like this um so there's a bath upstairs and also like a toilet and a sink and everything there's a lot more spacious than the one downstairs and it's got the same kind of floor tiles as well in here i quite like this bathroom i think it's quite nice then her bedroom is over here, which I actually really like her bedroom. Sorry, the camera went funny. Um, I think it's quite cozy. So yeah, it just looks nice. Uh, do you know what I think it needs? I think it needs a fireplace, but we don't really have room for it to be honest. But yeah, I think it's nice and cozy. And then the spare bedroom I also think is nice. And this is eventually going to be, Jesus, the camera. Ugh. This is eventually going to be a kid's room and I think the wallpaper would be quite nice as a kid's room, maybe. Maybe we'll change it, I'm not sure. Um, but yeah, I like it. So that is the full house tour. Um, doing the house tour has made me realise that I want to make quite a lot of changes. So in a future episode, we will make some changes. And oh my God, I've just realised that smoke comes out of the chimney. I did not know that before. That is cool. That's a nice touch. Um, but yeah, that's um, the house tour. Um, oh, she needs to pay. Her bills are 11,094. Well, it's a good job. We basically, um, why couldn't she reach the mailbox? The mailbox is literally here. interesting so yeah that is the full house tour um and stick around for future episodes to see kind of how we build upon this house and make renovations and that kind of thing so now we're going to go on to the gameplay portion of this video so rachel is now home from work she is going to quickly pay her bills just because we don't want the electricity to go off and she is tired so what we're going to do is we're going to invite a friend over. Where is he? Please tell me he's not died or anything. No, there he is. Um, we're going to invite him over and make some food. We're going to clean this. A friend is busy right now. What the hell? How rude is that? I've never experienced that before on Sims. No matter how, like, how much I've played this, whenever a Sim has invited another Sim over, they've always come over. Maybe, maybe people just don't like Rachel. 
bless her. So let's make some chili. And she can watch TV whilst she eats and she's gonna watch the cooking channel because she enjoys cooking. That's one of the things that she enjoys to do. I always like watching them cook. Um, so I'm just gonna fast forward that a little bit. Eliza Pancakes would like to come over to hang out. Well, we didn't really want you over, but I guess you can come over. We wanted a frame over, but he can come over tomorrow, I guess. Um, so she can eat that and then once she's eaten that she's going to empty the coffee machine and clean up this random cup because she also likes cleaning. Um, oh, she's going to be quite tired actually when what's her name comes over. Eliza is her best friend if you didn't remember. Gossip about neighbours and she, she, she is one of the neighbours. Become best friends but they already have become best friends. Right, we should probably invite her in. Um, sit and chat here. Oh, cute. They're now best friends. Uh, Rachel's gonna have to go to sleep shortly because she's really tired. Um, but I want her to have a quick shower before bed. Where is she? Oh, she's cleaning up. Oh, bless her. It's funny because there isn't a door here so they have to go all the way around to go through the gate to get in. Right, I can see she's tired, so I'm gonna send her to bed once she's had a shower and everything. Right, all the lights are off. Rachel is now off to bed and we will see what she gets up to in the next day. So um, I'm gonna fast forward and turn on all the lights. So to start the day, she's gonna make some, actually, is she hungry? No point making food if she's not hungry. Okay, she is a bit hungry. So we're gonna get leftovers and then we're gonna go to the toilet. We're gonna check up on the plants, collect a microscope sample. I wanna do that. Then she can take a little swim. We're gonna try and invite a friend over today um, and if he actually decides that he wants to come, She's not at work again. She needs to quit this goddamn job. What a joke. Um, when her boss asks why was she late to work today, she can say that she was just chilling in the pool. She was just floating. There she is. Looks like a dead body. Um, so she should probably head to work. She's hungry again. Glenn is ringing again. You won't believe it. Katrina Caliant is such a sweetheart, I'm in love. Great news. Right, she's hungry again, get some goddamn leftovers. Um, and what we're gonna do is we can do a quick painting actually. I want her to do a, oh, she can do a flirty painting, whatever that means. Oh, hang on, she's still at work. So what is she gonna draw today? Eliza Pancakes would like to come over. Why is that woman always coming over? I'm gonna say no. I'm gonna say no, is that rude? Probably, but I'm still saying it. And then once she's done that, she can invite over a friend and if he doesn't come over, then we're gonna get worried about the future of Rachel. He will be right over, fantastic news. So she's finished her painting. Oh, um, bright and day. What does serenade mean? Share personal life goals. Ask about day. Um, well, they are in a relationship, so he can't get mad at her for flirting. Her <coughs> my voice is gone. Where can I put this picture? I really need to make more space. Put it here. Hey, where's he gone? He's going to the computer. Somebody, please, tell this man to stop doing that. Ask to join household. Please do not say no. Where is he? 
Come on. What are you going to say? <gasps> Yay. So he is going to move into her house. Yay, he's moved in. He's moved in, which means they can now get married. They can have children. This is the start of it all. Um, so yeah, maybe they can get married in the next episode. Who knows? Who knows? Um, but yeah, yeah. I'm very glad that he has joined the household, which was the aim for this episode. Ooh, woohoo. This would be their first time. Do you think it's going to do it? Or is she too tired? And she needs the toilet. They're going in the spare bedroom. Ah! Hate this camera. He's got all red. Break out the candles, make it romantic. Efrain and Rachel are wooing for the first time. Cute. Right. Now, we need to put her, once she's finished with that, she's going to go to the toilet and have a very quick shower and then I forgot that we can control a frame now as well oh he won't be sleepy look at his energy it's full up do you think if he swims laps it will make him tired but anyway Rachel's absolutely shattered so she can go to sleep It's so cute having another sim in the house. Look at him doing laps in the back. Right, we will put him to sleep as well once he's finished his laps. Hopefully he will be a little bit tired maybe. He does like fitness. I'm just gonna check the calendar and see when the next birthdays are. So her next birthday, where she will turn an adult, I think, um, will be in a few days. And his birthday is a few days after hers. And I think he will be becoming an elder. So yeah, we really need to speed up this whole marriage baby thing. Otherwise they're gonna be dying before they even get a chance to get married. Um, bless them. Right, um, Efrain is energised and ready to go, but Rachel is not. I want to go and visit someone's house in this episode. What makes a sim turn neutral? Have a sim stay in the fine emotion for 48 hours straight. Oh, okay. So Efrain is up and awake. Maybe he can make some breakfast. Actually, it's probably best that Rachel serves breakfast because she can make more options. Hey, where's he gone? Has he gone to work? Uh, he's gone outside. She's making breakfast and he's gone outside. Come on, mate. Who has a barbecue for breakfast? Probably some people, to be fair. Okay, well, it's just going to have to have leftovers in, aren't they? A fire started. Um, how do you not notice that? There's a fire. Um, hire a how hire repair service because there's a fire. We need to put the fire out. How do we do that? And what is all this? Okay, the fire thing is here. Okay, good. Right, well, it's fixed. Right, let's take them on a trip somewhere. So they're gonna travel together as a couple. Right, to finish up this episode, they're gonna go and visit the goth residence. So here we are. Um, is it normal that when you arrive at someone's house, everyone's just waiting outside? Um, but I don't think we've met them yet. So let's hello, say hello to Bella and the little kid and let's head into the house because why not look how oh maybe I need to knock on the door first actually 
to actually welcome ourselves in instead of just turn up randomly out of nowhere. Rachel is off to work. Okay, I keep forgetting about that. Liana, Liliana is very hungry without feeding soon, this baby will be taken away. Well, it's not my baby, so I'm not feeding it, it's their baby. Right, look at this house. Oh, doesn't it look cool? I think it looks really creepy, but in a good way. I might, I wanna renovate this house. Why is he doing push-ups? Why is that considered normal to go to someone's house and start doing push-ups on the floor? Where is everybody? Like, no one's here. Ooh, look at the dining area. We, at some point, we might have to move into this house because this is awesome. I personally, like, in normal life, would love to, like, stay in a place like this. Like, I find, like, creepy houses or, like, really old-fashioned houses very interesting. Oh, is there an up upstairs? Ah, oh, this is where everyone is. Cool. And this is the baby that needs feeding. So I'm going to change its diaper and I'm going to bottle feed it even though I don't know this child I just feel like I don't want it to die and he can practice for when he has his own baby oh actually he can have a bath is it rude to take a bath at someone else's house without asking probably but we're gonna do it There he goes, having a little soak. This is inappropriate, please stop. <laughs> Oops, looks like them two aren't friends. <laughs> Maybe going back to when I said, is it rude? Um, yeah. Do you know what else we can do that's rude? Make some food. Let's have a quick meal. Let's have a ham and cheese sandwich in someone else's house without asking again. We're really making friends today's episode. Efrain is vegetarian. Vegetarian sims avoid foods made with meat, such as chicken, beef and fish. These sims also may get sick from consuming foods. Damn it, I forgot. Oops. He's very sad. Oh no. I forgot he was vegetarian. Right, well this is a complete fail of a visit. Let's go home. And we're not even gonna say goodbye because I don't think they even care. They just want me gone. <laughs> if we conclude today's episode, we did, oh, sorry, <laughs> just zoomed out. Um, we did a full house tour in today's episode. We also did quite a lot of gameplay where a friend moved in, which was great, brilliant news. And they went to visit the goth residence and it didn't end too well. Um, so yeah, we tried to make some friends, but we ended up um, not making friends. So if you look at um, a friend's friend list, Mortimer is not really a friend. He's friends with the baby, a bit weird. Um, and then the other children and then oh the only other friend he's got is Rachel that's cute so we need to get him some more friends because she's got more friends she's friends or really good friends with Eliza so we need to get her um, a friend to be friends with Eliza as well um, maybe they could go on like double dates with Eliza and Bob because um, them two are in a relationship so that is the end of episode six next episode we are going to see if either Rachel actually yeah Rachel is going to ask a friend to marry her I always like to have the character that I've created to ask the other person to marry them rather than the man ask the woman you know um I like to use the character that I have created in the first place so we're going to get Rachel to ask a friend to marry her I am going to play it a little bit before the next episode just to kind of get things going a little bit more and um yeah it might be her birthday actually at that point so it might be a birthday party as well for her in the next episode so yeah i'm 
excited for the next episode remember to subscribe like the video turn on notifications and i will see you in my next video bye